chapter number 4 quadratic equations now quadratic equations and linear equations are almost the same but with a bit of difference <coughs> a same problem sum can be solved by quadratic equation also can be solved by linear equation also both the ways it works okay so we will see some of the sums because in exams it will never be written to you that solve this by this method or that method so it's up to you to either solve it problem sums i'm talking about okay not uh, normal simple equation solving so when you have problem sums to be solved you can either do by quadratic equation method or by linear equation method so how did it come it was babylonians were the first to solve quadratic equations they knew how to find two positive numbers with given positive sum and positive product and thus they were able to solve quadratic equations next we were the indians who took it up actually took up the task brahmagupta brahmagupta and shri <coughs> shridhar acharya took it up and they gave a formula by completing the square method all those who have finished the chapter will know of it so there are two three methods by which we'll be solving quadratic equations so our indians have got a name there they have come one is that they have given the formula one of the formulas and another was by completing the square method but actually it was discovered initially by the babylonians now what is a quadratic equation now what is a what is the uh, standard uh, gauri what is the standard form Mom, yeah. ax square plus bx no, no, plus no, no, c no. is equal to hold on hold on hold on hold on i am talking about linear equation give me the standard format of a linear equation ma'am ax plus b is equal to 0 fine ax plus b is equal to 0 is a linear equation in one variable now give me aniket the standard form of a linear equation in two variables Mom, ax square plus bx plus no, c is equal to 0. No, what are you talking? I'm talking about linear equation. Talking about linear. Can I answer? No, one, one minute. Let me Mom, can I answer? Wait. Nishan, can you give me the standard equation of a linear equation in two variables? Standard format. ax square plus bx. No, you're looking at the screen and answering. What are you talking? That means you don't know the basic difference between a quadratic and a linear. Vaibhavi, can you try? ax ax is uh, just the previous chapter you did for the linear equations mm, in two variables ax plus b plus uh, ax square plus bx plus c is equal how to zero that, how that square is coming can i tell oh oh wait panika can you try um, mom can i try mom ax plus by plus c is zero perfect perfect ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is the standard form of a linear equation in two variables whereas what the gauri said was ax plus b is equal to 0 is also the uh, standard form of a linear equation but it is in one variable so all these we have done now we have moved a stage forward you have done this in ninth only you have done it this is what you are all looking at the screen and answering me this a quadratic means why quadratic because you will see the power of x it will be 2 that is why such equations are known as quadratic equations so ax square plus bx plus c and always see that they are in the same variable they don't have different variables so we are we will be talking about quadratic equations in single variable samat what did i say can you repeat some quadratic equation in single variable sorry quadratic equation in single variable can you give me a example um, ax square plus uh, ax give square plus give me an example b. give me an example uh, okay um 4x square plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 perfectly fine okay fine with that so the only thing that you have to keep in mind is check the power of the variable there it should be 2 so this is it where a and b are called the coefficients a and b are called the coefficients now sandana what will happen if a becomes equal to 0 what happens if a becomes equal to 0 here mom it will become a linear equation perfect it will perfect it will become a linear equation in one variable 
okay so see to it that the coefficient is not zero because in exams this time also in boards they had asked to check out which are quadratic and which are linear so they were all in disguise you have to check it properly so that's it a polynomial quadratic is not thing the meaning is it's a quadrat it's a polynomial of degree 2 so one simple example also summer gave us an example so it is 5x square minus 3x plus 3 is equal to 0 this is what the square term makes it quadratic that's it now we have done the same thing when we were doing linear equations also now when we have you will find the value of x you might, by different various methods you have already done splitting the middle term so when you find the value of x by some method might be grouping might be for taking out common factors or uh, splitting the middle term then in that case what are these values of x known as what are the values of x known as rushdev uh, the coefficient no oh. what are the values of x known as ma'am can i answer one minute i have agnes what are the values of x known as dear ma'am values of x are known as variables hey values of x are known as variables ma'am can i try who is that can summer summer are hello i cannot understand who is that give your name who is that summer ah summer that's what i said summer wait sleep for some time Gautam, what are the values of x known as when we solve a quadratic equation? I don't know. I think x. zeros. They are yes. I don't know. Kya. They are known as zeros. They are known as zeros. What are you answering? They are known as zero. What else? Um, can I say? Who is that? Can I say from behind? Said somebody, a girl. Ah, ma'am. No. Of course, I said that my brother said from the back. Acha, who is this? I said, who is this person? I'm Pius. Pius, give me the answer. Yes, dear. And they are known as roots, zeros, or solutions. Perfect. It's already there up on the screen. They are known as solutions. They are known as zeros. They are even known as roots. The same way you were doing for linear equations. Nothing different. So if the question asks you find the roots, find the solution, find the zeros, you should know what it is. Shushti, did you understand? Webhavi yes, is it clear? Webhavi. Chalo, let's move ahead. Now, you might have done this again in uh, I think eighth uh, or ninth. You have done it. When you have something like x square plus three x minus four. Okay. Now you try to find out the factors. Yeah. How to find out the factors? We'll move ahead. We'll do it. Now suppose we say that x plus four and x minus one are the two factors. Okay. Then in such a case, what are we actually doing? When we are breaking down x square plus 3x minus 4 to the factors, we are basically factorizing it. Am I right? We are actually yes, ma'am. When x plus 4 and x minus 1 are multiplied by distributive property or whatever property, then actually what are we doing? We are expanding it. So we know expansion and factorization are same processes but vice versa is that clear children all these things might come in your mcqs so be very careful otherwise i can directly start the chapter because i know you know a bit of it and i can start with it why i'm taking all these slides because of all these things okay these are all there in your textbook so expansion and factorization are vice versa please put it this way put this into your notebooks all of you draw this and put it into your notebook i'm putting i'm magnifying it this part. I want everybody to put this part into your notebooks. Fast. Ma'am? Hmm? Are we supposed to write the top um, like multiplying x plus 4 and x minus 1 and expanding you it? Can write. You can write or you can simply draw this. This is enough for you, right? This part. That this is called expanding and this is called factorizing. So expanding and factoring are opposites. You can write it down. Now it's up to you to understand. I just want you to have this into your notebooks.
fine with that all of you shall i proceed yes ma'am yes ma'am okay ma'am let's start with some examples all the textbooks close for some time please close all your textbooks for some time everybody now as i said all these questions can be done by linear equation method also and uh, quadratic equation method also now represent the following situations mathematically john everybody do it on your own read it from here but do it i hope everybody keeps your textbooks closed for some time john and jivanti together have 45 marbles both of them lost 5 marbles each and the product of the number of marbles they now have is 124 we would like to find out how many marbles they had to start with okay now before you start before you start i would just like to show you how we can do this by linear method okay by linear equation method when we have to do this by linear equation method in two variables or we can do it by one how to start with how to start with can we take two variables and do with linear equation method am i right yes, fine so how do we start suppose john has x and jivanti has y so first equation should go x plus y is equal to 45 next john lost 5 marbles so how much it is x minus 5 jivanti also lost 5 so how much is it y minus 5 so the product that is x minus 5 into y minus 5 is equal to 124 so if you have two equations two unknowns x and y you solve them and find the answer can that be done by linear method yes it can be done but now how am i going to do it by quadratic equation in one variable suppose john has x initially so how much will jivanti have 45 minus x perfect 45 minus x perfect now here is only one unknown one unknown x so how many equations are required children one 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 unknown one equation two unknown two equation three unknown three equation okay kanika fine with it yes ma'am fine so we start the sum let john have x marbles jivanti have 45 minus x marbles now next part of the sum next part of the sum how do we do when they are losing so when john is losing how much it becomes x minus 5 when jivanti is losing how much it will be x 40 minus x 45 minus x minus 5 so that is how much 40 40 minus x 40 minus x and their product is given to you as how much 120 124 124 so this is what is my equation only one equation i'll get okay now solve it so this is they are asking you to first show it mathematically so need not solve it at the moment need not solve it at the moment children fine so this is the required equation you can solve it because you have done it last year you have done it last year so you can very well solve it but leave it at that point okay so as everybody got it in the form of x square minus 45x plus 324 is equal to 0 check it out anushree do it do it now all those who can solve it at fast do it because i'll not go for solving at the moment dan pranav dan yes ma'am sudesh dan ma'am vaibhavi doing it chalo do it do it do the next example do this example also a cottage industry all these sums will solve later a cottage industry produces a certain number of toys in a day has everybody finished the first question children are you still doing yes Kanika still doing first part no mama i just finished just finished okay so cottage industry produce what is cottage industry producing cottage cheese paneer 
Paneer, only paneer. Huh? Who loves paneer? That person said. Tell me what all is produced. Edwin, cottage industry That's gives you what? Milk. Sorry? Every milk product. Every milk product. So sweet. Seriously. Edwin, it sells cottages. So, paneer. This is what you do in SST class, I understood. Wait, I'll tell your teachers. Wait. Wait and see. What is this, Vanshika? What does cottage industry give us? What is cottage industry? Ma'am, I'm not sure. Ma'am, it produces cottage it cheese and all. Carried by people in food. Yes. Ma'am, it's a small scale industry. Yeah, it's a small Perfect. scale. It operated in a cottage kind of place. Yes. Yes, very true. It can be done by family members itself. It can be done by, by small villages wherein few families come together. The few cottages come together. It might be toys. It might be small handicrafts. It might be anything the small in small scale. Understood? That is called cottage industry and not cottage and cheese. Cheese and paneer always. Yes, it can happen. Cheese and paneer can happen, but not cheese. Paneer and all can be made home products and sold off, right? Chalo. So here, what are they making? The cost of production of each toy, so they are making toys in Sri Patna and all you might have seen, those wooden dolls and wooden toys, right? So they also might be made at home and then colored nicely and done. So the cost of production of each toy was for, found to be 55 minus the number of toys produced in a day. Imagine. So what should we consider as X? The toys. Number, number of, of toys, toys produced the in of one toys. day. Number of toys. No, no, don't say number of toys. Number of toys produced on one day. Produced in one day. Ah, be very careful about what you're writing. What you're in, writing initially, you should be very careful. The number of toys produced in one day is X. Fine. And the cost of production of each toy. So this is, uh, what did I write? Number of toys per day. In one day. And then what is the cost of toy in one toy? It will be how much? 55 minus. 55 minus X. Ah, 55 minus X. 55 minus X. Is the cost of one toy. Nothing. What you will do? Sia, are you not Sia? Uh, uh, Tahiya. Yes, ma'am. Taya, why didn't your parents come for the PTM? Ma'am, she went out somewhere and she forgot to join the PTM. We have really given you intimation long back, no? Yeah. So, Taya, then Vivan, and Anani. Anani, are you there now? Ananya is there today? Only 46 are there. 45. Today 45 are there actually. 5 are absent. Okay. So Ananya is not there. Vivan is not there. I don't know who it is not there. Okay, fine. Are you done with this? So here goes your equation. Are you all done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma got. Got. Everybody has got this expression. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how yes, to ma solve it? We will do. How to solve it? Will Jeeval, are you doing with us? Yes, ma'am. Fine. Daniel, done. Shall I move? Tell me, Prerna. Shall I wait for some time? Prerna, Reva. Shall I wait for some time? Yes, ma'am. Done. Ah, Ma'am, ma when you solve it, you get x equals 25 or 30. 25 or 30? Ma'am, one will be positive and one will be positive, one will be, will be, positive, so one will be negative. Or both will be positive. One minute. Oh, wait. Ma'am, x was, uh, one of them was minus 30. Either you will get both positive or negative. Get both negatives. Yeah. I will not discuss about it at this moment. I know you know it. But please hold on. Let's proceed to the... Slowly we'll move to it. Chalo. Harsha done? Yes. 
Done, Harsha. Show me a thumbs up. That's enough. Chal. Okay, fine. Moving ahead. Now, how do we check whether the following are quadratic equations or not? Okay, so this is given to you. All of you, start, how will you check? So what we do basically is we open it up. We open it up and we are doing actual expansion. When we are doing expansion and solving the equation, we should get it in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And thus we can say that yes, the given equation is in quadratic form. Right with that, do it, go on fast, do it. This is already on the screen. I want you to do it, redo it, and then do this one on your own, fast. And tell me yes or no. Sudesh, let me know of the time also. Huh? Yes, ma'am, six more minutes. Left. We have another period, sixth period. Ma'am, the first one, the quadratic equation, second one is in. Sorry, Ishan, I couldn't follow you. Ma'am, first one is a quadratic equation, ah. the second one isn't a quadratic isn't. equation. Isn't, okay, fine. Let the others also do. Aditi, any issues so far? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Good. Suraj? Fine. Shubhangi, first one is already done. Tell me about the second one. What is the equation that you are getting for the second one, Shubhangi? Ma'am, I haven't done that yet. Okay, do it. Do it. Um, second one's not a quadratic equation. Yeah, second one is not. Not I understood. But what is it? Tanvi, can you answer me? Give me the equation for the second one. Ma'am, it'll be um, x. Wait. Uh, done? No, ma'am. I'm still doing. Achha, chal. Dhruv also doing it. First one is a linear equation in one variable. No, second. Second one. Linear second, second, equation. Second. Can you give me? Yes, I asked you for the equation. Yeah, x plus 12 equals 0. X plus 20 is 0. X plus 12 is 0. But tell me how many have got this? Okay, so i do it. Fine. Shruti, your camera is off. What happened? No, but I can't see anything. It's dark. Oh, I guess it's other side. Other side facing you? So now you can see. Wait. I have to look for Shruti. Wait, I'll tell Hello, you. Wait, beta. I have not put it in that mode. Ah, I can see. Pius, are you having some issues, network issue? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Shall we move on? So this is what it is. You get it as x plus 12 is equal to 0 for the second part. Okay. So remark is be careful in the second hour. The equation appears to be quadratic. It appears, you can see there's an x square term. So as soon as you see x square term, don't jump on to conclusion saying that yes, it is quadratic. No, solve it further. You will see that the x squared terms from both the sides cancel off. Okay, so be very careful. Okay, fine. So there are some more examples of quadratic equations. What about this one? x square minus 3x is equal to 0. Is that in the form of a quadratic equation? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma as soon as you see there's an ax square term. So we are fine with it. What about this one? 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Is it a quadratic no, equation? No, ma no, ma because of the missing x square term. Okay. So that is the most important thing that you should have to keep in mind. Now, 
there are certain hidden that's what i was saying there are certain hidden quadratic equations so this is perfectly fine x square is equal to 3x minus 1 this is fine with you so here if you have you will compare it with ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 you will get a as minus 1 b as minus 3 and c as 1 perfectly done what about this type of equations open it first open it first you will get it in this form what about this one don't think that seeing only one uh, the power of z as 1 it is not quadratic open it up open it up you are sure to get it in this form understood what about the last one 5 plus 1 upon x minus 1 upon x square is equal to 0 always what you do is taking lcm rather than multiplying by x square what you do is you you take an lcm so x square will be the lcm and you will be landing landing up getting 5x square plus x minus 1 is equal to 0 which is again a quadratic equation of its type okay fine with it all of you